On the last episode, we made some great flaky biscuits. But good gravy, Marie, we need some gravy for those biscuits. So grab your apron, get inspired, and let's make something yummy together today from the Dewey Kitchen. Today we're going to make a basic cream gravy. Now I grew up in Texas and Lord knows that we eat cream gravy on just about anything if given the chance. But it is particularly good on a breakfast biscuit or chicken fried steak or mashed potatoes. So before we get started and head on over to the stove, here are the ingredients that I like to use to make a basic cream gravy. One cup chicken or vegetable broth, one cup whole milk, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, salt and pepper to taste, and some optional items include Tabasco sauce and sausage. There are a lot of different ways of making gravy, but here's how I do it. And we're gonna start off by adding our chicken broth right into the skillet. Now maybe you haven't roasted or boiled a chicken in a while and you don't have any fresh chicken broth. That's perfectly fine. You can use store-bought broth. Or in a pinch, you can use something like Better Than Bouillon. Just make sure you always follow the directions on the label so that your broth doesn't turn out too salty. I'm gonna turn that on and we're gonna heat that up to a, a boiling point. Now, while that is happening, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my milk and I'm going to take my flour and I'm going to add my flour to my milk and I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to mix this together really well at this point. Now a lot of people will put their flour in at different times within the gravy but I like to do this because it prevents you from creating gloppy gravy. Nobody wants lumps in their gravy. Well, this is a surefire way to make sure that it doesn't happen. So I'm gonna just mix that really well together till I see no lumps in there. And then I'm gonna set that aside as we're waiting on the chicken broth to heat up. At this point, you can go ahead and add some seasonings to your chicken broth. I like to add quite a bit of pepper when I'm making cream gravy. Now you can add some salt. I will caution you that it might not might need much salt because the chicken broth already has some salt in it, but maybe just a little bit, not more than a teaspoon of salt. Mix that together. And again, let it come to a good boil. Now you're gonna to wanna to have a gravy boat or a bowl right beside you ready to use because as soon as the gravy starts thickening, you wanna take it off the heat and out of the skillet. Otherwise, the gravy will keep cooking and keep thickening and you'll be very unhappy with the results. So have a bowl ready. Okay, this is simmering pretty good now. So I'm gonna add my milk and flour mixture right in there. And I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna just start working this and whisking it and mixing it all together. You can already see how beautifully peppered that is, which is important for a cream gravy. You can always add more pepper and season a little bit more to your individual taste. Now at this point, I'm gonna watch this closely. So I'm gonna watch when it starts to thicken up. Now, if you like a little zing to your pepper, you could add a little hot sauce into this. Now you can see this is just beginning to thicken up very nicely. Now because I'm serving this as a breakfast gravy, I have some crumbled sausage that I made earlier. And so I'm gonna pop that right in and I'm gonna mix this together while it continues to cook and thicken up a little bit. That is coming together very nicely. If you feel like your gravy's not gonna get thick enough, you can always take a little bit of water and some more flour, mix it together, make sure there are no lumps, and add it into the mixture. Okay, I think that that is nice and thick. I'll take it off of the heat now. I'm gonna pour it into a nice bowl. I'm going to take a biscuit that we had made earlier I'm going to enjoy some of this on here. A nice gravy there. 
beautiful. And there you have it, a beautiful cream gravy with some biscuits and some sausage in it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That is comfort. All right. Excuse me. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you subscribe so that you know when the next episode is. And we'll see you next time on From the Dewey Kitchen. If you tried this recipe, great job. And we want to know how it turned out. So send a photo of your results to itriedit at fromthedeweykitchen.com and maybe you'll be featured on the next episode.